Okay, hey, let's try that again. <laughs> We're just going to heat this up, and if we need to add rod, we'll just keep it on standby. Add a little drop in there and just kind of let it fuse. Let it fuse. Okay, let's talk about fit up now. Okay, you can see we got that, that tack on the end there. All right, and uh, we're going to make sure we got a nice channel that when we start, okay, when we start, let's see if I can get this closer, see if that works, okay, when we start, we're going to run that bead right down the middle of the channel there, okay, and we're just going to run it right to the tack, you can kind of see there's a nice 90 degree open end, we're going to just melt the tips in, okay, we're going to blend the hills to the valleys, so let's try it. Okay, so uh, here we are, we're set up on the joint. Let's get this thing going. We're gonna run a nice hot flame, 45 degree angle. We're just gonna melt the hills into the valleys. No filler rod is needed on this one. Kind of bend them in. If they don't fuse like that, right away, if they don't fuse, you have to get a little bit of help, which is pretty easy. We're just going to melt a little rod on the end. Don't be afraid to get it started. Use a little back and forth motion. There you go. And you just bend it. Just back and forth. Back and forth. Keep that puddle moving. Don't stop. Okay. And that's not us on fire. That's just the fire department going by. Just keep welding it up here, back and forth. Just kind of watch that puddle. Watch the ends of the puddles sink down on both sides evenly. Kind of what you're looking for. Don't let that primary cone touch the puddle. Just back and forth, back and forth. And melt this right on in. Just kind of develop a groove, a rhythm. Work that puddle all the way to the end. And when you get to the end, flatten it out. Don't keep the same angle, same angle, because you'll you'll blow it out. Okay, now turn the torch off here. And one of the things that I like to look for is you see a little bead on the back. So we're gonna flip this up, and you can see a bead right on the back there. Okay, that's good penetration. You know, you get a good uniformity bead on the front. And that's your 1F open joint flange weld.